Hi, it's Fiona Masterson from The Learning Reservoir. In this short video, I'm going to explain to you what HACCP is. HACCP is an acronym for the words Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point. It's a food safety management tool that is used by food manufacturers, food companies, restaurants, anybody handling food to protect the food supply against biological, chemical and physical hazards. Is a preventative system, having a HACCP food safety system in place uh, allows you to build in controls within your food safety management system to prevent uh, food uh, safety issues. What is food safety? So it's very important to understand the difference between food safety and food quality. Well, food safety is food that is suitable for human consumption. In other words, when we eat something, it doesn't make us sick. So that's safe food. But what is quality? What is quality of a food? Well, it's different. Quality means that the product looks good, smells good, um, and so on. So you can have a good quality product, but it might not be safe, or you could have a safe product that will not make you sick, but perhaps the quality of it is not good. So I just wanted to mention to you the differences between those two things because HACCP is a food safety management system. It is not a quality management system. It's a food safety management system. Having a food safety system is a legal requirement for food businesses because food businesses must do everything in their power to produce a safe product. So no matter where in the world, and if you're, you're a food operator, there will be laws around requiring uh, producing product that is safe for consumption. So HACCP is, it's a systematic approach to the identification, evaluation and control of food safety hazards. It's a, it's a proactive preventive approach where um, food operators have to re review their processes and determine are there any potential food safety hazards within their processes and remove those uh, hazards as best possible. Where did it come from? Well, it's a very um, uh, exotic beginnings. Well, it started back in the late 1950s. NASA, together with the help of the Pillsbury Food Company, created the first concept of the program. The initial objective of this uh, project between NASA and Pillsbury Company was to develop foods with the highest level of food safety for traveling to space, which makes total sense. You don't want your astronauts getting sick in space. And because of that, what they did, they looked at the risk of any foodborne illnesses being uh, present in the food that they were taking to space. space. Both institutions form groups to create a pathogen free product that can withstand space travel and have significantly longer shelf life by identifying all critical failure areas. They achieved this objective uh, by using a critical control point system of the US Army Natick research, which was normally being used for ensuring the quality of medical supplies. The original HACCP program had only three principles, and soon after the success of the application of HACCP with Pillsbury and NASA, they continued their uh, innovation, Pillsbury, and implemented it in its op food operations and food uh, facilities uh, to great success to uh, ensure they are producing safe food. There are seven principles of HACCP. So in other words, when you're implementing a HACCP program, you have to do these seven things. One, you conduct a hazard analysis and identify preventative measures. So you look at your processes and determine what hazards could be present. Two, you identify critical control points. Those are the points in the process that are critical for food safety. So for example, if you're a juice manufacturer and you're loading your final product onto the trucks at the docks, what kind of hazard could be there? Well, you might have a biological hazard. Um, so you might get contamination of the product from microbes. So that would be a potential ha hazard, growth of pathogenic bacteria. The risk of that could be high. How do you control it? Well, you have temperature control on the containers where your juices are uh, stored. Um, how can you monitor this? Well, you should monitor um, that the refrigerator is working, for example, 
and also try and limit the time outside the refrigeration uh, unit the product is. So this would be a CCP because it's the last uh, part of the process before the product is shipped to the customer that you have control over your product. So number three principles, you establish your critical limit. So depending on the type of product and the regulations associated with that, you'd have your critical limit. For example, uh, for pathogenic bacteria, you want zero uh, in, in that, in your product. You have to monitor the CCP, uh, record the temperature of the, the refrigerator, make sure it's within its limits. You have to document, again, in advance, preventative, what will you do if you find that your pathogenic bacteria limit is breached, it's over zero, well, I would say for this case would be uh, destroy the batch. But you're, this is all documented uh, when you're doing your HACCP plans in advance. So it's a, see, it's a proactive approach. Then you establish verification procedures. Perhaps your um, uh, warehouse employees will regularly check uh, the temperatures of the product to make sure that they're in specification and finally all of this is documented. So HACCP is a food safety management system. It stands for hazard analysis critical control point and there are seven principles of HACCP. And that is an overview of what exactly HACCP is. Um, I hope you found this uh, short video beneficial. Please uh, like it and if you want similar content um, please subscribe to our channel.